I'm sitting at my computer on a, on a lovely Sunday afternoon preparing a blog. And as I do the blog, it reminds me of a story that I, I really have to share. I've not shared it for so, so long that I'm just dying to share it with somebody and, and you're my audience. It goes like this. 30 years ago, I was a principal in West Vancouver and I received a phone call that sounded like this. Uh, David Bouchard. And I say, just it's David here. David, my name is Colette and I'm calling you from the north. And I said, uh, Colette, we all have a different idea of what the north is. Where are you calling from? And she said, I'm calling from Norway House in northern Manitoba. And I said, yeah, Colette, that works for me. Okay, that's north. Um, what can I help you with? And she said, we understand that you've been spending some time on the road trying to help communities become um, more successful and help our kids become readers, our parents become knowledgeable, our educators become passionate about literacy and reading. And I said, I have been. And she said, well, we were wondering if you'd like to come up here and talk with us. And I said, well, come on. <laughs> I would, I'd love to come, don't get me wrong, but I'm, I'm a principal in West Vancouver. I've got commitments and obligations. I have timelines and time schedules. And she said, yeah, we have money up here. And I said, oh, well, yeah, I'd like to come. And when would you like me to come? And she said, Tuesday. And I said, like this coming Tuesday? And she said, yeah, what are you doing Tuesday? And I kind of chuckled. For those of you who don't understand indigenous uh, values and way of life, when we plan a meeting, we plan it for, we'll be sitting around saying, hey, let's have a real big meeting on Friday. And somebody will say, we can't Friday because it's my brother George's birthday. Okay, how about Monday? You know, as opposed to non-Indigenous communities where you plan seven or eight months in advance. And even then, there's got to be a backup plan. And No, no, no. So she said, what about Tuesday? And I said, well, so that could be difficult, but I'll see. And I went. I went to Norway House and it was just the most amazing experience. And if you read my blog, you'll see that 30 years later, Colette is retiring and she wrote me the most amazing, most, most amazing email. And I put it, I've included it in my new blog. So that's part one of what I wanted to share with you. Here's part two. Further back than that, like 50 years ago, I had a chance to host a meeting in Victoria Park in Regina and introduce the Prime Minister of Canada, Justin's father. Pierre Elliott Trudeau. So I sat on a stage next to Pierre Elliott Trudeau and Senator Davy Stewart, who'd been the mayor of Prince Albert, was now a senator, and Otto Lang, who was the minister of agriculture at the time. And uh, there, Otto Lang leaned over and she, there were 5,000 people in the park and he said, do you have any, uh, any questions, anything you want to ask before you speak to this group? And I said, uh, really, Mr. Lang, I've, I don't know. I was 21 years old and I said, F I don't know. He said, well, here's a hint. Tell them what you're going to tell them, and then tell them, and then tell them what you told them. I said, no, all right. And I've kind of applied that to everything I've done. And I wanted to make sure that with you today, with, the, with those of you who are viewing this today, you understand that 30 years ago, I would fly to Norway House and I would stay in this incredible log cabin right after the dog call. And now it's changed. In my office, you'll see a ring light, and you'll see this this blue, um, lovely little microphone, and you'll see that I'm doing so, so much on the internet. In the last month, I've done professional development. I've spoken to parents. I've spoken with kids, both in English et en français. Évidemment, parce que c'est ma langue maternelle. Je suis français, quoi, francophone. And I wanted to make sure that you all understand this. I'm accessible. I'm anxious to reach out and help you with with ideas that pertain to reading and literacy, ideas that pertain to uh, truth or reconciliation and, and the recommendations and how best to that in the community in, in light of, of the sensitivity of the issue, not wanting to offend people. And uh, so I have all these life experiences, all this uh, this passion that I'm dying to share with you. And all you have to do is go to my website and click on webinars and check it out. You'll see that I'm accessible and I'm, frankly, I'm uh, very reasonable when I think of flying to you and what that kind of thing. So reach out to my agent, Chris Patrick, and I would love to work with you and your communities as I have been doing. It's just uh, the best, best thing ever. Okay, thank you.